Okay, Boitaji, so Sophie Davies and Baisha Dora de Australia. Yeah, I think uh, the question here is a diplomat as a woman. So I think there, there are, we all face challenges as diplomats, but I think as a woman and a mother, uh, that is something, uh, a challenge I can particularly think of was um, in Colombia when I was setting up Australia's first embassy there. And it was exciting. It was post uh, signing of the FARC agreement and there was a lot to do. Recruit the team, you know, make the relationships, do everything you have to do, find a home. But I also had my three teenage sons with me and my husband. And I think the challenge was as much as uh, the work side, it was making sure that my three kids were okay. And that was, that was, that was very tough. <laughs> it was very tough. And I think I, at the time I always just said to everyone, I would not recommend moving countries with three teenage children. But we all made it. It was a good challenge. Yeah, on both fronts. So on the first one, um, Australia's made a commitment to become one of the most gender equal societies in the world. So actually this year on International Women's Day, we launched a national strategy for gender equality. And under that, you know, we're seeking equality in pay and retirement income, leadership, representation, and particularly to end violence against women. And we have particular institutions to support that. We've got an ambassador for gender equality, office for women, and so on. Um, but on women in leadership in the Foreign Service, that's also something that's very important to my department. In 2015, we, uh, we recognised that women weren't progressing through the diplomatic career as much as men. There were not that many uh, women in senior leadership positions. And we undertook a study to work out what the barriers were. And out of that came a women in leadership strategy, which started in 2015. And um, as a result of that, you know, the department has gone from having around 22% uh, women as heads of mission, ambassadors, to today we're more than 43%. And I'm really happy to say, you know, for me, I was the first um, Australian female ambassador in Colombia, and I'm the first female um, Australian ambassador in Brazil. And it's a, it's a really proud uh, thing for me. Thank you. Yeah, I think there's no single path. And uh, for me, you know, my path was winding to get here. I think it's a matter of being really open to opportunities and, and following things that you're passionate about um, and things that you, you know, you're good at. Like for example, my career path, I started as a lawyer and then I worked in outdoor education and then I worked in international development for a long time. And then I moved into uh, the diplomatic career. Um, and, I'm, and it's those different experiences have really helped me to do the job I'm doing today. So there's no, there's no single path. Empoderamento. Eso es mi, mi palabra. <laughs>